Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to All The Mod 7. Guys, we have some fun stuff planned for today. We're going to be getting into the unobtainium stuff, but in order to do that, we need to go ahead and get some vibranium. Uh, there's been a little bit of progress done off camera here. I set up some garden cloches, which is way better than the windmill create mod uh, thing, by the way. So unfortunately, we are going to be switching to that. I also went ahead and we got some redstone bees going over here, giving us the redstone. That's been really nice. Um, and I also turned off the windmill because I believe it was causing some lag. And the cool thing is we do have, I don't know what this is uh, or what what it's causing. I, I don't know, but it's basically lag goggles. And it tells us, you know, what is causing a bunch of lag. And we do have a bonsai pot here, which is actually causing quite a bit of lag, a bit more than I originally thought. Um, that's full. That's why it's like that. Yeah, I put in all the modium, all the modium max in here, kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna be going to the Nether today, and we're gonna be trying to find some vibranium. So I'm gonna need to grab my hammer, which is here, and we are really gonna be looking for this stuff. All right, so the vibranium ore is in warped forest and crimson forest from Y level 100 to 123. Um, now I did do, we did do a lot of mining here in the Nether and kind of ruined a bit of things. I kind of wish I would have done a clearing quarry because then it would have pu punched a hole through all of this. But now we're just kind of looking. Um, yeah, I don't honestly know where one of those was before because i mean now we can just use vein mining and we can just you know mine the dirt instead of like the yeah may maybe i don't know i don't know maybe i go get the, the builder and go ahead and clear out some space maybe that's a good idea okay so we have a nether or a crimson forest right it does spawn here we have crimson forest so we got to go up to y level 100 Okay, um, so we got to set it up somewhere around here. So let's get some mining done. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this guy up here. So we got a builder here. Um, we have, so it's not going to be able to mine. Uh, oh, that already has one of those in there. Okay. So I almost think that maybe, I don't know, um, Let's do a pre. I'm trying to. I'm thinking out loud. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. We need a preview. No highlighting. Okay. You know what? Let's just let's just uh, take this. Gonna do that. Oh. I see. Um. Whoop. We won't make that so tall. We'll say. We'll just do 70, and then we'll offset this by, like, 70. And and then we try again. There it is. Okay. Okay, so we got the builder set up, and we have it uh, set to what I want it to be. You know, we have it uh, offset of 18, so it goes up just a few blocks. Um, and we got everything dialed into exactly how we want it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take some of these item pipes. Now, we are voiding a lot of the materials that we are getting, but unfortunately the ores were not. So we're just going to do um, some diamond chests. And I need, need my pipe wrench to go like this. And then we're going to go ahead and take the ultimate pipe upgrade, throw it in there so that's as fast as possible. And now we can do this, which, well gonna have to do a little bit different um so what that means is we're gonna have to do something like this yep and then we'll pipe it out so we're gonna have a buffer chest which is exactly exactly what i wanted um uh, not so yeah so yeah we're mining this pretty quick um a little bit of another act did somehow get through but yeah we'll let this run for a bit i'm gonna go take a look at the um yeah we're out of power that's a problem 
All right, so we finally have some. We got some vibranium over there. I've been clearing out quite a bit of room. Uh, uh, so that there was a mess up, I'm going to be honest. There was a big mess up. If we come over here. Yeah, I was mining out all of this area for probably an hour, just waiting. Because um, I set this for too big, and I was like, where, well, where, where is it? Where is it mining? Yeah, it was way over there. But anyway, we finally got some. That is literally the only ones we have. Is this mineable with this? No, we need an all the modium pickaxe. Uh, fun. At least we have some, though. So that means we can, you know, put that, uh, get the vision from this thing or something like that and go mining. It'd be great. You found me. All right, we good. Okay, so now that we have the raw vibranium ore, we can go ahead. I'm actually going to go ahead and create another one of these iron hammers. So we can go ahead and double that. Um, and then the uses, yeah. All we're going to need to do is just turn it into its ingot form. Bam, there we go. Okay, and so all we need is a pickaxe, and then we also need this. Um, so mortar, we're out. We should have a bit of clay somewhere else. Okay, so with the clay, um, let us, all right, so we need a pedal, pedestal, and we need a mortar. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to turn this into the raw vibranium. Okay, and this will allow us to create the vibranium powder and we can smelt that and then we can combine it with a potion and then mundane potions okay so I'm gonna grab a few bottles here one two three and then actually let's see about making a pickaxe Okay, yeah, so this one's pretty straightforward. One, two. Okay, and so now if we combine these together, we get the vibranium pickaxe. We're going to go ahead and enchant it so that we can get some fortune on it. That was Silk Touch. Silk Touch again. Fortune 3. There we go. All right. Now we make our way over to the Unobtainium in the end, and we have a good time. Okay. We are back here at the Unobtainium. And remember when we mined all this space out, we could only find here these guys so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put the shovel in my offhand and we're going to mine this I'm gonna use that Ooh. <laughs> that is raw unobtainium ore oh my goodness okay so we're gonna combine this with a hammer gonna smack those up and then we're just going to smelt these guys. There we go. And then if we go to uses. There we go. Server seems to be a little laggy right now. I might need to restart it. I'm trying to get rid of these things. Oh, there it is. Server crashed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give it a restart. Be right back. All right, we back. So we're going to go ahead and smelt this unobtainium powder. Um, yes. Me. I. 
Okay, so we have the one here, but I think in our reboot of the server, I somehow lost the other ones because they're not they're not here. Um, you you know, if we put it in here, yep, it it shows. I don't know where it went. Um, Yeah, I think I think we lost it, which is really really unfortunate. Um, but it's okay. We have we have the the one powder, so we'll be able to make do. Let's go ahead and get some bottles going. We just got to make sure we do this right, uh, and then some. Oh, come on. Some redstone. Yep, because this will turn it into the mundane potions that it wants. Perfect. Okay. So one, two, three there. Redstone, you go. Man, that is a bummer. I'm so sad that we lost that unobtainium. Um, wait. What did I just pick up? I, I don't know. Nope, it's not there. Okay, so we put the... Wait, before I do it. Uses... Yeah, so mundane potion, mundane potion, okay. Just making sure before we lose it again. That'd be a little ridiculous. Okay, so we have the unobtainium site. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to go to the end and go out to one of the islands and then we're going to drink this and figure out where all the unobtainium is. All right, here we are. So we're pretty close to where we found that original unobtainium. So we're going to drink it now. All right. So we've got some here. Which is very good. And I do have fortune... Fortune 3 on this. There we go. Here's our unobtainium. Beautiful. Are you still there? Nope, you're gone. Okay. So we didn't find any more. Oop, here we go. We got one. We're going to be getting as much of this stuff as we can. Okay. It's a bee. So I'm going to be running around doing this for a little bit, and I will be back soon. Yes, back soon. All right, so I just made two runs, uh, which is good because now we have over a stack of unobtainium. We've recovered our losses. Uh, and then I also got some more of the... Uh, vibranium ore from the nether uh, so that we can go ahead and make blocks. Oh, that got thrown. Um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, all we need this for is blocks of uh, vibranium and then a block of unobtainium. And there we go. Those are for our bees. So now if we do this, we're going to start with vibranium first. Um, probably going to be, yeah... All right, so vibranium B is created. How? Wild onions and draconic dust? Can't breed amongst themselves. Okay. Um, what about the unobtainium bee? Four vibranium, four unobtainium. I think the recipe might be a little wonky. Ah, uh, that sucks. 
That really sucks. Um, so let's go ahead. We are going to upgrade our armor. How? Oh, top. Okay. And then chest piece. I did it again. All right. Unobtainium chest plate. Ooh, that looks cool. All right. And then our helmet. All right, unobtainium helmet. Ooh, that looks really weird. All right, I will have to look into what is going on, but we are in full uh, unobtainium gear. So it says we have water breathing with that. I mean, to all... Damage sources using fire slash lava. Protection from damage sources using wither. Magic resistance. Protection against shulker. Levitation attacks. Immune to nausea. And then no fall damage. So we are like maxed out armor wise. Let's look at the armor toughness. 500 armor toughness. 45 armor. Yeah, like we, we are stupid strong right now. Um, What can we test this on? What can we... Well, we have water breathing, too, so I can be under here however long I want. It's infinite, which is great. But cool. So... We we have... The, ooh, wait a second. We need a hammer. Let's go ahead. There's one plate... Um, can we just upgrade this to the next tier? Nope. We have to create the unobtainium sword, which is two plates and a rod. Okay. Oh. Oh, I've messed up. We need one more plate. Okay, so two plates, a rod, that gives us the unobtainium sword. <laughs> 233 attack. Oh, my Lord. It's nets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could almost one-shot anything at this point. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and enchant the sword real quick. Um, nope, I don't like that. Those enchants. I want looting. Capturing one. No thanks. Looting two. No thanks. And this will be the last enchant we can do. Ah, not that, not that good, but we did have a little bit of sharpness, so now we're at 235 damage per hit. Jeez Louise, we are strong. We are mighty. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Okay, so I want to go ahead and try something. Because um, the recipe for unobtainium bees is four vibranium ingots and four unobtainium brick, uh, ingots. And I think it could be talking about a normal bee. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hold a flower... Oh, I need... Oh, no, never mind. We're good. I need to put this bee over here. And... No. That is doing nothing. So, I'm not too sure what the recipe is. If you guys know what recipe it's referring to, uh, please go ahead and let me know like what I need to do. I'm pretty sure it used to be you breed up some combination of the wither bee and the draconic bee or and the ender bee. Um, but I don't, I don't know. The recipes seem to be different now, uh, cause this just shows a flower and draconic dust. So I'm, I don't know what that means. Um, but we're going to move on to the next part of our episode, which is, uh, we can't put these in there. See, this is the reason why we're switching over to AE2 is I don't know what the problem is, but it will not use the remaining storage that we have. It's acting really weird. 
Um, so we're just going to go ahead and switch over to AE2 and call it good. Um, but I want to go ahead and get some compact machines. We're going to get a couple of these maximum tier ones, and they made it really easy for us to make now. It's a little too easy, if I'm being honest. Um, that's right, we can't put those in there. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. And there we go. We have nine of these compact machines. We're going to need to go ahead. Let me go ahead and uh, compact. Get the Game Boy personal shrinking device. Beautiful. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and I'll show you guys where we're going to be putting our bees in our new base up here. I have been working on a sky base, everyone. It's a, it's a work in progress. Um, I'm still working out the kinks. It's pretty cool, though. I'll show you guys inside. So yeah, this is inside. This is going to be our main area where we access our AE2 stuff. Uh, this bottom row and possibly this top row are going to be ME controllers here. Uh, and then the storage, the ME drives, um, all the storage is actually going to be up here. Uh, we're going to have something interesting on going on over here. And then we'll have storage, like storage drawers back there, and then compacting drawers at the bottom. And then down here, I know it looks really nice, uh, but over here is going to be all of our auto crafting stuff is going. And so I was going to see what looks best. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do one of these. If it looks interesting. We'll be able to label. I might knock out this one and label what each of these are. Uh, but if we click here, this will take us to our personal shrinking device where we're going to keep all of our bees. I believe it is daytime here 100% of the time. So I believe our bees will be able to work here all the time, if I'm not mistaken. This will be interesting. So if we go up, so it's generating a new area every time we go into them. And if we check out the map, I believe, yes. Our other one might have been over here somewhere. So let's click it again. We're falling. There we go. And let's do the third one. All right, so we just generated this new world. J, uh, looks like we're a bit further away. I don't wanna go too far. Oh, nope. It was over here somewhere. It's funny how it, uh, it doesn't show it because it's technically supposed to be its own little world. We can't actually break the blocks on, on this. Yeah. But, yeah, that's where we're going to be putting our bees. Those are very easy to create. Um, you set up little, uh, look, basically, they're just little dimensions that you put stuff in, and it takes a lot of the stress off the world. So we're going to put all of those bees there. And then the other thing I wanted to do is if I hit R, we can run this TPS. Um, and then after this is done it will show us what is causing lag. So if we click this overlay, um, I apparently am causing a lot of lag. This <laughs> is just my guy. Why can't I fly? Oh, all my XP is gone. That is fun. But it's uh, as you can see down there, if you look, it shows what is causing that. We have a bonsai tree thing over there that I was messing with. That's that red thing, but it, it shows you what's lagging your world. Uh, so that's very, very important. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, whoops, turn that guy off, overlay, bam. And then we're going to swim on over and get some experience. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. My head looks kind of weird with this mask on. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We have gotten extremely overpowered. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to actually be moving a lot of this stuff up into the base. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mirror that, that side on all four and then work on that jet out. It's going to be great. All of these bees are going to be gone. These bees are going to be gone. Uh, villagers will be up there. We're going to put them kind of down lower. Uh, but these bees will be gone. Like, we're going to clear out so much space and put it up there. We might even clear this place out. Because uh, I don't really know what's causing all the lag in this area. But if we look in this area, we're getting, like, less than 30 FPS Sometimes, like, it's really struggling to stay above 60, so we'll look into that. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.